Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you are watching this video, welcome. My name is Neela Deschimak and I'm the Sales Director with Meditrans and I would love to introduce the company to you. Falling ill or having an accident is always unpleasant. But it is even more upsetting if it happens to you in a foreign country where you don't understand the language or the culture. People who suddenly need medical care while they are abroad are usually keen on returning home to their family surroundings as soon as possible. And that is exactly what Meditrans does. Meditrans organizes repatriations from and to countries all over the world, often on behalf of insurance companies or emergency assistance providers. But if a patient has no insurance or no other provider available, we also provide our services to private companies and to private instances. Meditrans was founded in 2002 in the Netherlands and grew significantly under the lead of Pieter Gerkens, who presides the company since 2018. Together with Pieter Poort and Dr. Bert Manson and myself, Nele de Schemaker, we are driving the company in its growth. Peter, as well as Peter, have many years of experience in the field of medical escorting and medical evacuations. Dr. Manton has been our medical director for many, many years, and he has a vast experience in medical regulation. I myself have been working in the medical repatriation business for more than 23 years and have a lot of experience in medical assistance and disaster management. Together we stand for an excellent service delivery in medical evacuations and medical escorting. Our repatriation services are coordinated by medical professionals such as doctors, nurses, paramedics and if necessary medical specialists. Our team has paramedics as well as nurses and medical doctors. They're all trained in emergency medicine and or intensive care. Some of them are specialized in specific areas, such as pediatrics, heart diseases, gynecology, etc. We always try to have the best solution for the patient, so we evaluate the situation with the needed detail, time after time. When we started in 2002, we only had a departure base in the Netherlands. Today, we have departure bases in the Netherlands, in Belgium, the UK, and in Florida in the US. Besides these departure bases, we have collaborations with colleagues all over the globe, so we are able to provide the best services to your clients. Speaking the local language is important for us, so that the communication with the hospitals as well as with the patient can go smoothly. It provides safety and comfort for all parties involved. In our team, we have experts who speak Dutch, French, English, German and Spanish fluently and of course there are some other languages that are spoken. As we find it very important to keep our teams up to date with the latest developments as well as how we see the customer service to your patients, we deliver training to our teams four times a year. The topics vary and evolve in function of the needs. So here are just some examples. We have a training on customer focused communication, which is focused on connecting communication with the patient as well as with the hospitals. We also have a training in, on medical care during the transport because while the patient is in a hospital, all uh, needed equipment is available. During the transport, this is less and so it is important to trained specifically on that topic. We also have a training on the impact of height on the patient, especially important for patients with cardiac pathologies, but also with broken uh, legs, etc. It seems simple, but there are always so many aspects to take into consideration during a transportation. Our services can be seen as a timeline in four blocks. As a first step, we provide medical regulation where required. This is needed, for instance, if the patient has no insurance company and no other assistance providers are involved. Knowing the medical situation of the patient in detail is required to make the right decisions on how and when to repatriate the patient. 
Once all of that is clear and there is a go for the repatriation, we go to step two and we start with the preparation. We are looking for a flight. If needed, we are looking for an air ambulance. We organize the ground transport, ensuring the right escort is available. And very important, organizing the readmission in the receiving hospital where that is required. Often that is where a delay occurs because there are no beds available in the receiving hospital, for instance. So it's a very important aspect in the organization of a repatriation. But then when all is organized, when the, everything is confirmed, our escort starts his or her journey to go and pick up the patient and bring him or her back to the final destination, in general, the home country. And we start that with a first phone contact with the patient by the escort, because it's important to establish the trust relationship to ensure the repatriation goes well. As we have a non-neglectable experience in disaster management and logistics needed to ensure that people are evacuated as soon as possible, we also offer support to teams who require it or can do the full coordination for you in a disaster situation. If after watching this short presentation, you would love to discuss any further on how we can help you or your organization with medical escorting and medical repatriation organization, don't hesitate to get in touch 